Steve, summer holidays, we're having a bit of a break, or a lot of the world's having, the footballers are having a break, but you've been hard at work in Belgium, back here to carry it on. How's it been going? It's going very well, actually. Um, I'm, I'm, I came here to do the last part of rehab, uh, the running stuff, um, getting ready for the new season. We, we saw some of you posted yourself, people who've been working within Belgium and with the Belgium FA, Ali Beatty's told us about. Just tell us about that back home and, and how that's helped you. Uh, I know these people a long time because they helped me through some difficult moments in my career. So I know how they work, I know what they can offer and um, they also work with the, for the Belgium FA, so they're very good. So are you feeling fit and strong? Again, just talking to Ali, you know, says you're in a good position at, at this stage. Yeah, I feel, I feel very good. Of course, there are some little uh, details to, to work on, but the big lines are looking very good. Good. And the target to be ready for pre-season, is, is that fair? Uh, that's fair. Uh, I might be ready a bit, a bit sooner, but just then we can just continue to work uh, physically just to be um, r really ready for the, for the pre-season. Just briefly looking back on last season, you, you did so well in the first half. How frustrating was it to sit on the sidelines? Would be how pleasing was it to see the team carry on and, and finish where they did? Well, it was frustrating because I was playing good, mm -hmm. the team was doing good, and uh, I, I wanted to finish that season because it, it was quite a special season for mm -hmm. for everybody, and to not be able to do it, it was it was quite hard, and to see the team play on television, it was uh, not the nicest moment. Yeah. But that said. You did very much cement yourself, A, in the Premier League and B, I think, in, in Burnley's plans and, and in the, the hearts of the supporters. So it was a big breakthrough season for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think the year before, everybody saw what I'm capable of, but they didn't see it always on a regular basis. This season, they, they saw it and they enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I, I, I think I proved to... Uh, a lot of people were having uh, some doubts that uh, I proved them wrong. Yes, I think if we were sitting here this time last summer, it might have been a different conversation without going over too much old ground. I know we've said that that pre-season was crucial. That you know, you you sat down with the manager, you both came up with a plan, and, and you carried it off to a T. Yeah, it's 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 a different story now. Um, that's why a pre-season is so important, and I want to be fit for pre-season because that's a major part of how your next, uh, how your season is going. Mm. Well, we know we've definitely got you for next season, at least hopefully further. We'll, I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How much are you looking forward to next season then and hopefully picking up where you left off? Uh, um, I think I'm, I'm really looking forward because now I had a taste of, uh, personally, a bit too, too, too little. Um, but now we got the Europe League um, and we want to kind of... No, we want to do better than, than, than last season. I won't say that was an incentive to get fit because I'm sure you'd have been doing anything anyway, but how much how nice of an extra thing is it to look forward to to be back in the Europa League, back on a personal level, back in European football? Uh, it's good. I prefer Champions League, but... <laughs> 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 That's... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, but Euro Europa League is nice, especially for the fans. Mm. Um, um, Looking forward, I hope we can reach the, the group stages. Mm. That would be big, wouldn't it? Of, yourself, of our squad, yourself and Johan have played in Europe, not a great deal of European experience, but would you say to the players something to really look forward to? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, but I think you, you're already playing the best league of the world, so right. that kind of experience. So you, you got a level that uh, is need to be to, to perform in the Europe League. Mm. So. I think that I think we'd be all right. And as you say, it'd be difficult three qualifying rounds to get through, but it would really feel you were in the competition if you could get the group stage. That'd be great for the whole first half of the season, wouldn't it? Yeah, then you're sure you're you're in Europe until mm. December. Mm. So mm. that's really looking something to look forward to for, especially like like for the fans to travel around Europe. Mm. But the Premier League, ultra important, of course. Confident you could handle the two together. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think the Gaffer said in, in one of his interviews, like in the championship, they had like always like two or three games mm -hmm. in a week. So physically, they can help. It's just like when you're playing you in, in Europe in different in different countries, they have their own culture, and and, and so there are details like food and stuff. Mm -hmm. So 
you have to handle them, them too, so that might be a bit different. Yeah, there's a lot of travel involved. The logistics are slightly different rather than just the, the 90 minutes on the pitch, aren't there? Yeah, of course, you, you have to, um, because if you're traveling down England, it's good, but you know the culture of England, you know the food is there and, and the good food is there. But if you're going abroad, you have to find the same ingredients uh, you're using in like mm. in England. Mm. And in terms of the Premier League, the team set the bar very high last season by finishing seventh. That's a tough act to follow, but I'm sure you'll go in and say, well, if we've done it once, let's have another go. Yeah, since I've been here, we're, we've done nothing but improving. Mm. And I hope we can do the same uh, next year. It doesn't mean um, ending like higher than a seven, mm. seven position. It can be like, if every individual uh, can do better than last year, I'm sure we'll have a great year again. And I think it'll help, you know, we, we did, we, you did very well last season, missing some big players through injury for lar large parts of it. You're going to be back, Robbie Brady's going to be back. Already the squad, hopefully, will start the season in a stronger position. Yeah, I think so, because uh, we saw the replacements did very good also. Mm -hmm. So um, the quality is there. We added some quality uh, in January also. So I, I think um, the team looks looks good for next season. The other big thing of this summer in recent times for yourself, you've called it a day with Belgium, um, to obviously concentrate on your club football. How big a decision was that and, and how happy with it, are you with that decision now it's made? Uh, it was a tough decision and at some point it wasn't because the most important thing for me is to play football as long as possible. And to play football as long as possible, sometimes you have to take decision, uh, some hard decisions, um, you don't really want to take. But it was obvious now with my uh, new injury. Um, I would not, I, I'm a, a really an energetic player, so I need my body to be 100% mm. to perform. And um, I, I need that time, that international time, to get my body uh, ready again mm. for the next part of every time in the, in the Premier League. Yeah, so it'll benefit you and hopefully benefit Burnley because you'll be around during those international breaks next season, won't you, to A, rest and, and but B, train with the squad? Yeah, then, then, then if, if there are some uh, difficulties, I can work on that personally, which you cannot do when you're in mm. international. Having said that, you couldn't have gone to the World Cup this summer anyway, sadly because of the injury, but when you're watching the World Cup in Belgium in the summer, what will your emotions be? Uh, I will be a fan of the Belgium team, of course, to all my, uh, my friends and colleagues. So I will support them. Um, but there will be a, lot, a, little, a little voice in my head saying, yeah, you could have been there. Because mm -hmm. you played in the World Cup and that will be one of your career highlights. I imagine there's not many players who can tick that box. Yeah, I've played the World Cup, so yeah, it, it might be it. So I've played it, so I'm, uh, of course I'm sad to not play the World Cup. Uh, but I've done it already, mm. so mm. it's a miss, but it's not that big of a miss. Yeah. How do you think Belgium will do? And of course, being in England's group, we'll, we'll be watching both of you very closely. <laughs> I hope they'll, they'll do good. So we have the players, we have the yeah. quality to do it, so I hope we get far. Yeah. And of course, Nick Pope and Johan are out in the World Cup. It gives us an interest, doesn't it, to follow them. And we really hope that Pope can get a cap somewhere along the line. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. He deserves it after the year he's got. Um, but, um, yeah, Bobby can win every game except the one against Belgium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fair. Just lastly, <laughs> Stephen, just looking forward to next season. Hopefully you'll hit the ground running fully fit. How much are you looking forward to it, getting the claret and blue shirt on again and, and going out there and, and doing w what you've done so far? Um, really motivated because I feel I've been too long on the sidelines. So I'm really looking forward to it. Well, looking forward to seeing you back, Steve. Thanks for your time. Thank you.